Hello, I'm Barbara and today I will show you how to correct recognition errors in ScanScore. After you have scanned or imported notes, ScanScore shows you the recognized notes on the right side. On the left, you can see the original for comparison. ScanScore automatically underlines bars with an error marker. If there are too many note values in a bar, you will see a light blue dashed line. The number at the end of the marker refers to the voice level, but I'll come to that later. If a bar has too few notes, the error marker will be purple, like this. Please note, you can always see exactly where you are by the crosshairs on the left, and thus compare the places on the left and on the right. Now we start with the error correction. In this bar, a dotted quarter note was detected instead of a dotted eighth note. Also, the sixteenth note at the end is missing. To change the quarter note to an eighth note, single click on the note. It is now highlighted in blue. Now go to the Notes and Rests toolbar above the score. Just click on the correct note value and the marked note will be converted automatically. The sixteenth note is still missing. Press the Escape key to enter Select mode or click the cursor icon in the toolbar. Then you select the desired note from the Note toolbar again, in this case the 16th note. Now you can put it directly in the right place by clicking again. We will now do the same in this bar. A clef is missing here. First, go back to the selection mode and click on the clef toolbar up here. The toolbar will open and you can now select your symbol with a single click just like with the notes and then place it in the score. Then we'll select the missing eighth note and put it in here too. There. The arrow marks are gone now. But the bar display is still not quite right. Let's correct that now. Mark the first eighth note with a click. Now open the context menu with a right click and select Group Beams and Separate. The note will now be separated from the next eighth note. Now drag a selection rectangle around the remaining eighth notes by holding down the mouse button. These are partly connected, partly separated. Let's fix that. After right clicking, select Bar Grouping and Ungroup again. Repeat the whole thing and now select Group All. These eighth notes are now all connected to one bar. Let's move on to the voices mentioned before. Here's an example of a marker that indicates errors in the two voices 1 and 2. So now we will check these two voices. Right click again to open the context menu and select Switch to Voice, then Voice 2. This voice is now displayed. All notes and rests in the other voice are now grayed out. We see that only the half note is assigned to the second voice. However, the quarter A here is not. Therefore, we now go to voice 1. The quarter note appears black here again because it is in this voice 1. Mark the note by left clicking on it, then right click and select change voice, then to voice 2. The note will now be moved to the second voice. Et voilà! Now both voices are in tune and the error mark is gone. After right clicking, edit other voice, then show all voices. We can see all notes again normally. We have now learned quite a lot about how to correct detection errors. But ScanScore does not detect every error automatically. Therefore, you should always check with the score carefully or use the playback to hear errors. For example, in this bar, ScanScore did not recognize an accidental. Click on the note and then select the sharp from the Notes and Rests toolbar. It will automatically be placed in front of the note. In the same way, we now correct these notes. And here we set the default note. We 
Please also note, Scan Spell is not always right with its error marks. If you have checked the bar and can't find any errors, just ignore the mark and there will be no disadvantages for you. By the way, you can also correct the lyrics. Double click on the lyrics and now you can correct them. With a tab key, you can jump automatically to the next mode, like here. Another tip for exporting your score. If you want to export your project, for example as a music XML, and there are still error marks, Scanscore will inform you about them. And you can now freely choose whether you still want to export without further correction or whether you want to continue with the correction. As already mentioned before, there are no disadvantages for you to export despite existing error marks. Do you have any further questions? Then check out the support section of our website at scan-score.com slash en slash support. You will find more help and tutorial videos there.